You crack your neck and massage your shoulders as it feels so stiff. Walking towards your desk, you grab your phone after 5 hours of surgery. You sit on the chair and unlock your phone. Chunko called. You instantly dialed his number but it was switched off. You sign and open the chat box. Sorry, I was in the surgery when you called. And you put the phone on the table before throwing your head back, resting it on the head of the chair. Why do I always miss his calls? That's why he doesn't call me. You pouted, then there was a knock on the door and a nurse came in. Ma'am, there's an emergency. Dr. Han is calling you in the operating room. You sighed and nodded. I'm coming. She nodded and left while you sighed and got up checking the message once again but obviously no reply. Bad luck. And you left the room. Chungkook was leaving for the airport when he saw your text. He sighed and dialed your number, hoping that you picked it this time, but again it redialed to the voicemail. He ended the call and threw the phone on the passenger seat. Always unavailable. She's neglecting her health for work. He decided to buy some snacks that you like to get whenever you visit Japan, so he stopped by a market. Dr. Shah, please keep an eye on his vitals. He took a scalpel and cut the spot but because of blood you started to feel nauseous. Vyan, are you okay? Your hands are shaking. You looked at him. The smell was making you vomit and sick as you are already fed up with bearing these morning sicknesses. Dr. Kim, I don't think I would be able to handle this. Please switch the positions. It's okay, you can go. You are not feel looking fine. You looked at the patient. As badly as you want to save him, but your condition can make the situation worse. So you decided to not perform this surgery. Thank you so much. You left the surgery room and immediately ran inside the bathroom. You came inside the bathroom and rushed to throw up in the basin. Your morning sickness is getting worse lately as you do a lot of work and barely get any time to rest. As you are one of the top surgeons so your work needs you more. You gripped the sides of the basin and stayed there for a while closing your eyes. Even your temperature was high as you got fever. I think I should get, give a notice for leave. It's getting hard. Omo, are you okay, Vyan? She reached near you seeing your condition. I guess not. You should take some rest. Call it a day and go home. Rest for a few days. Don't worry, I'll talk to the director. Thank you so much, ma'am. I think I really need to give myself some time. She nodded and patted your shoulder. No need to thank. We all are waiting to see this cute little baby. You smiled. You came back home and when you noticed Jungkook's shoes, you felt a smile crypting on your face. He was home after a week. You came back early today. You lift up your head only to see your dear husband standing in front of you. His hands were in his pockets and he seems to have lost some weight. Surely he was not eating well. Yes, um, actually there weren't many patients today. When did you come back? You said coming inside. Two hours ago. Are you okay? You are looking really tired and weak. He noticed even though you didn't want him to. That's why you weren't even going close to him or else he'll get to know that you have a fever too. Dr. 
retired uh yes i perform a fire surgery uh, so i'll go and wash up first okay he nodded i prepared the dinner already so take your time okay no need to rush up you smile thank you So, how was your project? Did they agree for the contract? He nodded while serving food in your plate. Yes, this time it's a VIP party. Wow, that's great. Congratulations. You said getting excited and feeling proud of your partner. How about you? As usual, you must be overworking and neglecting your condition. Your smile vanished and you started eating looking in your plate. Not really, I know how to take care of myself. See yourself, you have lost so much weight in just a week. Did you not eat properly? We try to backfire his question at him but it's not that easy. I'm same as before. It's you who has lost weight. when you should be putting on some weight by this time no one can say that you're pregnant by seeing you not everyone is same maybe i'll gain in few months fine why don't you take leave let me talk to your director i can't let you work like this you really got into tension because he's like this he never cares what it takes and does things at the moment You don't have to call anybody. I took leave for two days, and also I'm a doctor, Jungkook. How can I take such long leaves from my work? I would be needing it in the last months of my pregnancy. You still don't look fine. You are the doctor. Then shouldn't you be caring about yourself first? How will you treat your patient when you look like one of them? He literally started scolding you and couldn't do anything. And in this situation, he found out that you are sick. He'll scold you more and probably won't let you go to the work for like months. He is very possessive when it comes to your health, and now you are pregnant. That adds more possessiveness. You came back after a week, and this is how you behave with me. Always scold me. Isn't this bad for my mental health? He could see his eyes immediately turning soft. He never want to upset you or hurt you in any way, although he doesn't show that. Suddenly you felt like vomiting again, so you covered your mouth and ran towards the bathroom. Jungkook was confused and worried. Why? What happened? Are you okay? He ran after you. Wayne, you wiped your mouth with towel and noticed him. You got a little nervous. What happened? Why did you run inside the bathroom like this? He came near you, and as he held your hand, he immediately looked at you with disappointing face. You have a fever? You looked up. Not really. I just. He interrupted. Is. This even a thing to hide, Ryan? Don't you trust me a little bit that you can't even tell me about your health? He you shook your head. There's nothing like that. I was just you. What, Ryan? You lowered your eyes. I'm sorry. How do you advise your patients when you yourself don't know how to take medicines on time? Huh? He said, coming with a glass of water and gave medicine to you. We doctors prioritize our patients' health over anything. He said beside you. And what about your own health? These are symptoms of pregnancy. It was a little bit more work than usual from the past few days, so I forgot. You are not going to work until I approve, and make sure you are completely fine. You open your mouth to defense, but he put his finger over your mouth. 
I don't want to listen to anything. I'll talk to your senior or director whoever. I can't risk my wife's health at any cost. It was surprising how he's not holding himself back from saying such words when every time he tried to avoid claiming you he's directly like this because of shyness or whatever he knows. It felt good. You were feeling really special that he cared about you when you thought he doesn't care if you work or get sick whatever. You really make up a lot of things by yourself which are 99.9% wrong all the time. Okay, I'm ready. But what about you? He frowned. Me? You nodded. Yes, you will again leave me to go on business trips and all. You know I don't like being alone in the house. He pulled a blanket over your legs. I won't go anywhere. As I said, I can't risk your health and also my child. You can be careless, but I can't. Okay then, make me fresh banana milk because I'm really hungry right now. I vomit everything that I ate. He got up. Okay, wait for a little. He smiled and nodded. Once he left, you wiped your unshedded tears. I should be ashamed of myself. How can I even think that this man doesn't care about? You are stupid, Vyan. Baby, if you listen to all the talks of mama, please never mention them to your dad, okay? We have to always keep him happy. He does a lot for us. After 5 minutes, Jungkook came back in the room with a cup and a big paper bag hanging in another one. You really got curious to know what's in that. What's in that bag? You got me gifts? Wait, a dress or a bag? He gave you your banana milk and sat beside you. Since when you started liking them as presents? I don't really but you always bought such things so I just assumed he gave you the bag. And as soon as you saw what's inside your eyes sparkled like a small kid who got excited and so happy when his father or mother brought chocolates for him, you looked at him. You remember I like these snacks? I thought you like them. His love language is to buy you your favorite stuff and to see that innocent smile on your face. You are the best, Shankar. I love you so much. You sat kissing on his cheek while his lips slightly curled up in a slight smile. Jungkook is always a little introverted and he doesn't express much emotions. He cares but he shows through his actions and not words. Same with love. He wants to but he is still trying to come out of that phase. He is the type of man who listens to all your feelings and talks whether they make sense or not. He never made you feel like you are just forcing him to listen to you. He likes those silly talks that you always do but when it comes to express his side, he hesitates. That's why you sometimes feel like he's still not ready to open up or doesn't care about you when there's nothing like that. He loves you unconditionally. In fact, you're the first person who took that special place in his heart. So good. It made me nostalgic. Remember we went to Japan two years ago and there you showed me this specific shop. He nodded. These mochis, oh my god, such fresh flavors. Here try this, it's so good. It's okay, you can eat. I said open your mouth. He you said in a strict tone and then you both laughed. It's good, right? He nodded. Try that melty kiss. He was referring to the box of chocolates, but you gave him a mischievous smile as he understood your dirty mind is activated now. I 
I'm talking about the chocolate. Stop giving me that smile. Why? You can't handle it, dear husband. You could see a nervousness and shyness on his face as he started coming near him. What are you doing? Let me take you back to a time when love was as precious as diamonds. What am I doing? Why are you coming near? You smirk. You know how shy he is. Why did you suddenly start sweating love? Am I that hot? This was unexpected, unbelievable and heart racing when he suddenly switched the positions in a blink but carefully. He hovered above you and now you are the one who started feeling nervous. What are you doing? Hiss me. What am I doing? Your heart was beating so fast and felt like it would come in your throat any second. Face turned pinkish, he placed a kiss on the tip of your nose, sending shivers in your body. 